Hi, I'm Scott from Whiskey and Wealth Club here with Pat Cooney from Boan Distillery. Pat, can you just tell us a little bit about where you see the Irish whisky market going? Well, the Irish whisky has had a really up and down history. You know, if you go back to the turn of the last century and you were in America or New York, and you ordered the whiskey, you got Irish whiskey. Irish whiskey is 90% of the world whiskey market. But since that time, with Prohibition, with uh, a gentleman here, he invented the uh, continuous still. That was a much more efficient way of making whiskey. The Irish whiskey distillers didn't adopt it, so they were much more expensive. Then the Second World War came along. So if you put all that together, the Irish whiskey industry went from 90% of the world whiskey industry right down to 4% of the world market. In the 80s, Irish whiskey was only selling about four or 500,000 cases a year. Since that time, it's grown to 10 million cases a year this year and it's projected to grow to 20 million cases by 2025. So the future for Irish whiskey looks really, really bright. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. <laughs> Our family business goes way back, probably to like the 70s. The town supply of water that was supplying the soft drinks was intermittent. It was on and off, quality wasn't great, it was full of chlorine and fluoride. And the local postman, they used to say to Pat, there's a great water source in there. So they then drilled, he went about 216 meters deep. And as the story goes, it was like hitting gold, you know, water just gushed up. And that basically became Tipperary water. All of the kids were involved in that business. I looked after the water side of it. James was involved in finance. My brother Paddy was involved in sales. And my sister Sally Ann, she actually managed the largest wine and spirits import company in Ireland. One day we were driving past here in Drogheda because we have another warehouse in Drogheda. And we looked in here and we said, Jesus, that'll make a deadly distillery <laughs> and brewery. <laughs> The whole distillery has been designed to be a visitor attraction that's going to be very friendly for visitors where we can explain the whole rain to glass story of whisky and the great history and heritage that Irish whisky is and that Irish whisky has. Whisky Wild Club came to us, wanted to know could they purchase some of the first new make whisky from the distillery. Of course, this was attractive to us because the capacity of the distillery is about 800,000 LPA, that's 800,000 litres of pure alcohol. Whisky and Wild Club coming in enabled us to, so first of all, fun full production of that from day one and also it's very nice to be able to give a share of that to Whiskey and Wealth Club so that they can then sell it on to a great number of their customers and clients so as to really spread the word of whiskey and the one thing to say is that every barrel of whiskey sold through Whiskey and Wealth Club will be exactly the same as what we will use for our own two labels Bob and for Potsdale and the Whistler for Malt. Whiskey and Well Club has, I suppose, chosen us in the whiskey industry because, you know, we have a lot of heritage and a lot of providence. Personally, I think we have the best looking distillery in Ireland as well. What we're going to do here is uh, super premium, ultra premium. You know, we're only going to do pot still and malt for the Bowan brand. So I think it's a bit of trust from you guys to invest in us, that, you know, what we're going to do. So in three years time, five years time, 10 years time, your casks of whiskey are obviously going to be worth a lot more than what you paid up front. And then it comes down to what you want to do with it. Obviously, we have a bottling service, so if you want to bottle it off for your family, but otherwise, the cask of whiskey is going to be very valuable. Pat, as you know, our, our business model is quite a unique business model. How do you find our relationship working with Whiskey and Wealth, and how is that going to benefit you? Laying down whiskey is a very expensive business. Distilling whiskey is a very expensive business. Investing in a distillery is a very expensive business. So Whiskey Well Club, really, by taking up some of our production at the early stage of new make whiskey, has given us some capital to invest in more working capital so that we can get this distillery of the full production, which is about 800,000 litres of pure alcohol of whiskey every year. As an accountant, the whisky business is a terrible financial model in the fact that you are producing every day, spending quite a lot of working capital on getting that product into a barrel, but you actually can't sell it for three years minimum, as the Irish legislation says. And that makes any business very difficult to run. When you don't have something to sell and you're throwing down a lot of working capital, it's only going one way. So, of course, we want to keep as much of the production for our own brands down the road, but in the short term, our relationship with the likes of Whiskey & Wealth Club is of huge benefit because it allows us to get some income into the business that we can use for working capital to get laying down the stock and producing excellent whiskey at year three. When everyone sits down at the table and looks at the benefits for both sides of the party and the investors, it makes complete sense. There has to be a lot of trust there. As a family business, I think there's a lot of trust. It's more personal. You're dealing with the family business. It's the family that run the business and you're dealing with nobody else but family. I found the tour very, very exciting, very interesting as well. So after coming down and meeting with the owners and meeting with you guys as well, just a whole shared experience, 
with everybody else that's come along as well. You just feel a part of what's going on here. Completely delighted to be invested in it. Extremely impressed. Very impressed with the, the cleanliness, the beauty, the techniques. I most definitely would recommend investing in something like this. It was a great opportunity. Obviously, uh, the product of many years of experience. Uh, from a very dedicated group. I, I think it's a, it's a great form of investment because uh, uh, I do believe uh, that the spirits and the whiskey uh, market will go up and it's a nice, it's a, it's a good way of investment. I think better than properties, better than art. It's a, an eye-opener for me. I've already invested with Whiskey and Wealth and I hadn't been on a tour because I was away. So I'm getting the tour now, I'm very happy to get it and probably We'll invest further. The complex is, is so brilliantly um, organized and the people, I mean at the end of the day it's the people you trust not the building and I would feel that I could trust these people. I was kind of expecting to see just a, I don't want to say just, but just a like a, a whiskey distillery and I was surprised to see that there was also cider and beer and gin, I mean there's a lot of different influences here and a, a lot of different um, you know, kind of heritage. Something that was very interesting for me in just visiting the distillery was the fact that there's so much sustainability built into it. Um, that was a, a real plus for me, just in terms of uh, uh, investment.